guys, it's Dina from Tarot with Dina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and walkthrough of the Soul Cats Tarot by Lisa Robertson. This is a deck from Llewellyn and it's got this really nice box. It has a magnetic closure. The box is in full color and it has a full color book. When you open it up on the inside, it's got just a gorgeous box. And I, I love how they've started doing the full color books now. I can remember back when they were still black and white and this is definitely so much of an improvement. I don't know if I'm getting a glare on here. So it has a full page write up and full page picture of each of the cards. So I'm going to flip through the deck. This is the back and it is reversible. So we got the full, the magician. He does have all of these magical tools in front of him and the roses. Priestess, and the Empress has a little hedgehog. And this has to be one of my favorite emperors. Her font. This is a pretty hermit. Some of the cats have wings. I haven't read the book. I'm not sure why some of them have wings. And the devil has some of the traditional symbolism on the cat's chest. And this has to be one of the best tower cards ever. Another one with wings. We have the Ace of Swords. It's got its sword on the collar of the cat. So the 
They seem to have an Egyptian theme going on here with a pyramid and Isis. And it seems like the um in the suit, it's the same cat or breed of cat all the way through. So that one was the swords, and then when you move to the wands, you have a different cat or breed of cat that you follow through. The two of wands is posting boots over here. Here we have the cubs, and again, the, there's a cup on the cat's collar, and they also have the elemental symbols on their foreheads, at least on the aces. There's a fish in the bubble there on the page of cups. I really like this breed of cat on the pentacle suit. <laughs> A lot of times I read body language when I'm reading tarot and even though they're cats they have such expressive facial expressions and body language that it's easy to read. It was one of the saddest five of pentacles ever. There's another one with wings. I think this one is my favorite card in the entire deck. It's probably my favorite Queen of Pentacles too. And she's got blackberries all around her. And there's the King of Pentacles. So, and this is the Soul Cats Tarot by Lisa Robertson. I really like this one. This is this is really nice. I don't know. 
It's borderless. I don't know, I, I really like this one. I think even to some extent better than some of the decks that have people on them. And a lot of times I don't like animal decks that much because I prefer people, again, because I do read the body language, but the cats are just so expressive that it doesn't bother me that it's pictures of animals instead of people. It's easy to read their body language and their expressions. It's gotta be one of my favorite newer decks. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. I post new videos every Wednesday.